Hey, it's Hoz here with a quick video to show you how to create a button pop-up in Elementor. That is the Elementor theme for WordPress, which comes with pop-ups built in. But the only trigger that isn't available is the button on click trigger. And that's what I'm going to show you how to set up in this video. Let's do this. Okay, so here we are in my demo site. I've gone ahead and installed one of the available templates from Elementor, which is this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a pop-up that appears when you click this button. As I said, the on-click button trigger isn't available in the Elementor pop-up library. Oh, by the way, before we get started, you will need Elementor Pro for this because the pop-ups that are built into Elementor are only available in the Elementor Pro, which is the pro version of the theme, which comes with a small annual fee. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to go to the dashboard and here you'll see that there is a folder called templates under the Elementor icon. Okay, so here I'm going to go to pop-ups and all you do here is you create a pop-up by clicking on this add new pop-up button. So let's click on that. Now you'll notice that the template type is already set to pop-up. Here you can enter a name. So I'm going to call this pop-up one, which is not very descriptive. You want to enter a name for your template because obviously that's going to help you organize your pop-ups, but a name like let's say button trigger pop-up would be better that way I can have different pop-ups that are triggered by different events and I know which one to click when I want to edit one so let's go ahead and create the template and this is now going to launch the window with all the available pop-up templates now I could go ahead and just design my own uh, but for speed's sake in this tutorial I'm just going to choose one of the available templates here so it doesn't really matter which one we choose let's let's choose this one why not okay so let's wait for this to load oh look at that <laughs> it has an animation okay so I'm not going to do anything to it you can of course customize this however you like change the size of it um, even the animation and the colors and all that but I'm just going to leave it as is I'm going to publish it okay now here is where you get to add conditions and I'm going to leave that as it is oh actually no let's add condition and let's include the pop-up uh, across the entire site okay now the cool thing here is that you can also exclude uh, the pop-up from appearing in different places okay but I'm gonna ignore that for now I'm gonna click on next now here are the triggers for the pop-up and the one that doesn't appear here is the one that we want to create which is the on click button trigger now there is an on click trigger here but that's not for a button okay if I enable that you'll notice that it says clicks and it has a counter and you can change that to however many clicks you want what happens with this is that when somebody clicks anywhere on the page as many times as you specify here that triggers the pop-up to appear so if your page was some kind of image and it said click here then you could use this but that's not what we want we actually want uh, a button a specific button to launch a pop-up so I'm going to ignore all these triggers I'm going to go to next and on the advanced rules I'm also going to ignore these so I'm going to save and close okay and now I'm going to just exit I'm going to go back to the dashboard so we have our pop-up set up it's called button trigger pop-up so let's go to pages now you'll see that there is one page we're going to edit that with Elementor and we're going to go to the button and do a little bit of voodoo okay so this is the button here now you could if you wanted to drag a button in there uh, and style that however you want but I'm not going to do that I'm going to use this one 
the existing one and you could of course style that to however you want now to make that pop-up work with this button to connect them in other words all you do is you select the button okay so that the control panel here becomes all about the button and here where you have the link you just click on that dynamic database icon now here you want to look for actions because this is an action trigger okay and you want to select pop-up now you can see that that pop-up is now selected now you click on that again and that brings up a settings panel for that pop-up okay so the action is open pop-up which is correct is exactly what we want and the pop-up you see this drop down box here this is where you actually add the name with the pop-up and I'm now trying to remember what I called that pop-up was it button yeah button trigger pop-up <laughs> okay it would be nice if that drop down box auto populated with all the names of the available pop-ups uh, on that note it's better if you start all the names of your pop-ups with the same word have some kind of naming convention for example pop-up button trigger uh, pop-up on exit intent that way when you type in P in that uh, drop down box in that search box all the available pop-ups will turn up so button trigger pop-up was not the best name because exit trigger pop-up is going to start with a different word so in order to have all those pop-ups uh, populate that search box it's better to start them all with the word pop-up so there's a little tip okay so we've now connected this button to the pop-up and I've just updated that now let's just refresh the home page and see this in action okay so when we click on this button boom the pop-up appears and that's how easy this is and on that note if you want to stay up to date with all these cool tips then do subscribe to the channel and then we can stay in touch in the meantime take it easy and i shall catch you in the next video